Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tiasha or with love Tiasha on Instagram and for today's video I decided to do a wax sealing video again. It has been a while since I uploaded my last video. I think I missed two weeks of uploads which is crazy. My last video was I think the September post crossing challenge one which I was super excited about but then I don't know what happened, um, I just I just couldn't edit, I will explain about that a bit later on, so I guess let's talk about the wax seals first. You are probably wondering where I got this wax seal from, it's from a store called Note and Wish, I discovered it on Instagram and I'm gonna link it in the description down below, but they sell amazing wax seals i got this one and i also ordered a bigger one and it already arrived to my house and it's just gorgeous you will have to wait until the next wax seal with me video to see it or i will probably upload it first on instagram but yeah they are amazing and as I said, I'm gonna link it in the description down below. Now, I do get a lot of comments here on YouTube and also on Instagram about how beautiful my wax seals look like. And I wanted to make this video just to show you that not every wax seal that I do turns out perfect on the first attempt. And this one in particular is the perfect example for that. I think I had to redo it three or four times. Now, this was my second attempt. The first time I just re-melted the wax. Now for this time you see I accidentally left some wax hairs on there and a tip that I have for you is just to use your lighter and go over it very gently and very carefully over the parts where it is needed. Please don't burn yourself, really be careful and when you are putting down the wax know that the wax is still hot and melted and this can happen to you so this is I think the third or the fourth attempt to uh, fixing this wax. The best way is just to put your wax stamp on it again and you will get your perfect wax. I think I managed to fix it very well. Now this was my first time trying to uh, work with this wax seal stick. Uh, you saw me use it in my wax sealing on postcards video, the first one, um, but this is actually the first, first, first attempt of me trying to use it um, in the best possible way. And I discovered that the best way is just to melt it a bit in the actual spoon like this, and then just to scrape it off the edge like this. Um, and yeah, I think this is the easiest way. And it doesn't get messy. I'm not an expert when it comes to wax sticks, so if you have a better way to use the wax stick, uh, then let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to learn some new tricks. I think now I have some time to talk about the lack of videos recently. As I said, I have no idea what happened in my head, but I just couldn't get myself to edit videos. I was filming, I was creating, uh, but I just couldn't get myself to edit videos. So I started to watch Wax Seal With Me videos from other creators and also a few from myself and they are like super relaxing to watch and I figured, okay, they are also super relaxing to edit and I remember that I do have a lot of wax sealing filmed so I decided to just edit a wax seal with me video for start and it did work. I edited this one and then also two more videos so they still need a few bits to film so they're not completely done but yeah I guess I am back on track I hope fingers crossed okay let's talk a bit more about wax seals just because this is a video about wax sealing um, yeah in this particular wax seal I think I messed it up uh, just because I used 
not enough wax as you can tell but please don't throw away your failed wax seals just get them up like I did reheat them or remelt them and in my case I used an extra wax bead and I redid my wax and in the second attempt it did turn out perfectly fine so yeah here is another tip for you guys don't throw away your failed wax seals just remelt them again and uh, try again how does that saying go practice makes perfect yeah so not that my wax seals are perfect this video is a perfect example that they are not so do practice on baking sheets of paper or baking paper like this uh, like I do myself and you will get there you will figure things out um, and yeah just practice 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 that's all I can tell you you're probably wondering what I do with these wax seals that I don't do on actual happy mail well I stick them on the happy mail like here with some double-sided tape and it works out perfectly fine and another thing that I do I send them to my pen pal for them to use on their happy mails if they for example don't have any wax sealing supplies and they are also a fun goodie idea so yeah that's what I do with them approaching and you know what that means it is soon gonna be time for another monthly post crossing challenge I am still waiting on the postcards for the month of October to arrive but I already know the theme that is gonna be in October so if you have any ideas what the theme is gonna be let me know in the description down below um, I am very curious if someone will guess it uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. I already know who is the winner of the September challenge. I still have to film that part, but yeah, the video will be up uh, very soon at the beginning of October. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I came up with a monthly challenge regarding post crossing or decorating postcards. And yeah, I filmed a video about it. It's my latest one. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. But basically we decorate postcards using a chosen theme of the month. And we do get a winner at the end. And that person gets a postcard that I decorated. So yeah, if you are interested, well, the signups for the September challenge are already up. So you will have to wait for the October one, but until then you can check out the video where I basically explained uh, what the challenge is all about. It will be the same for each month, just the themes will be different. Oof, let's talk about uh, this wax seal that I'm making at the back. Um, I was kind of debating on redoing it just because it didn't turn out perfect as you can tell but actually when I was debating about it it kind of looks imperfectly perfect so I just let it be. I think I just got this wax seal stamp at the time that I was filming all of these wax seals uh, because as you can probably tell by now I really used it I really liked it and I still do and um, I used it for like a lot of wax seals forgot about the old wax seals that I have for example this one the tree of life this one is one of my favorite and I didn't use it in 
quite a while so I decided to use it up um, I don't know what happened here but I think I lost the footage for the actual pouring of the wax but it turned out so amazing if you do wax sealing yourself isn't it the best feeling to put your wax beads into a clean spoon um, I'm not an expert so let me know how you clean up your spoons I have to say I do cheat a little bit because I do have a few different spoons that I use for different color combinations but if I have to clean up a spoon I usually use just a paper napkin and I clean it out when it is kind of still hot so yeah if you have any different ways on how you clean up your spoons then let me know in the comments down below because I would be happy to learn some new tricks um, I also have a different trick for you just here you see um, usually a lot of wax is still in the spoon when you are pouring it so I just use a normal like paper clip to scoop it out and have the maximum amount of wax possible for my wax seals Here is another wax that I kind of messed up. You can see it's all bubbling up, which is not a good thing. Uh, it means that it's too hot and you can see it, it's kind of a weird consistency. It's very glossy. So yeah, be careful and don't overheat it. And with this wax seal, we are slowly coming to the end of today's video. So let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. This one was quite chatty, so yeah, let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up. And yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. Have an amazing day and we will see each other in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!